Hello, party people. It's 3 a.m. Do you know where your kids are? Truth be told, my roommates, oh my God, you guys, you just under my bed, disgusting. My roommates are not here. I'm home alone, essentially. I could Macaulay Culkin this shit, but there's no one breaking in, so why would I do that? I need to talk about something. There are also ankle weights on my ankles, so if you hear like, the ankle weights. I need to talk about something. The other day, I was on Ventura Boulevard and I saw an ad for Postmates. Now, I am a Postmates person. I too am lazy. I too do not know how to budget. And every once in a while, meaning like every two days, I decide that I deserve to get Postmates delivered to my apartment building. Um, usually it's pokey. I could drive five minutes away and get it myself for like $10 less. Still expensive. Why? But the other day I decided I was going to do just that. I was like, I'm driving to the pokey place. It's gonna be good. I'm gonna save myself the 10 bucks. However, when I was walking in, I saw a poster and I was not okay with this poster. I have a picture of it. It is an advertisement for Postmates and it hurt my heart. It says, can you guys see that? It says, your sweatpants are calling and they want a burger. Excuse the mother effing hell out of me. What does that even mean? Your sweatpants are calling and they want a burger? Your sweatpants don't eat. I'm upset by this entire erasure of like how wonderful sweatpants are. Are sweatpants not allowed to have burgers? Are sweatpants supposed to be eating salads? I once read this quote um, by Carl Lagerfeld, you know, the guy that was like the head of Chanel or whatever. Sweatpants are a sign of defeat. Now, I know the man just died, but what a dumb motherfucker. Sweatpants are a sign of defeat. Sweatpants mean you're fucking living, dude. You have some leisure going on. You're comfortable. You know what's a sign of defeat? Jeans. A bigger sign of defeat. An actual suit. Another sign of defeat. Pencil skirt. I never want to wear one of those again in my life. I tell my parents the reason I didn't go to law school is because it was like going to be stressful, but really, did I want to wear a pantsuit for the rest of my life? Absolutely not. I want to live in sweatpants. That's what I want to do. I should be a soccer coach, but I'm not. To and from shoots, I wear sweatpants. In the comfort of my apartment, sweatpants. Occasionally some yoga pants, you know, they got to get mixed in there. I wear jeans sparingly, and when I do wear jeans, it's the same brands, Paige Denim or Levi's, which might as well be freaking sweatpants if we're being honest. I'm wearing sweatpants right now. So Postmates, I've got a bone to pick with you. What's wrong with sweatpants? I could want a burger and be wearing a prom dress. I could want a burger and be wearing shit, pantsuit. I could be wearing anything. Why does it gotta be sweatpants? There were some more dumb posters by Postmates and the other one said, because you stopped eating carbs in public. Ooh. Bro, if you eat vegetables, fruit, anything, everything's a freaking carb. I don't know what the hell that means. So you're eating a block of cheese in public? So you're eating like a flap of meat in public? Why wouldn't you eat food in public? What is wrong with the world that we're like, Hey, yeah, since you stopped eating carbs in public, you should get them delivered to your house because you should be shameful of what you put in your body. You should be shameful of sweatpants. I am gonna switch over to Uber Eats now or I'm just gonna walk myself down there in my sweatpants looking like this, the glorious being that I am because I ain't about that life. Sweatpants are the way and the truth and if you wear them, rock on. I'm proud of you. Eat your damn burger in your sweatpants, eat in your prom dress, ain't nobody caring. And I guess, you know what, Postmates? You lost me. I'm out.